Welcome to the Reddit Chronicles. Today we will be reading from Am I the Jerk? Our first post is by Puzzle-Headed Owl. Am I the jerk for leaving a dinner with my girlfriend's family because they kept speaking in a language I didn't understand? I am from Galicia, a region in Spain that speaks a language that is very similar to Portuguese, and my girlfriend is from Barcelona, which is in Catalonia. She speaks Catalan. We live in Madrid and study here in university. Everyone in Spain speaks Spanish, except for foreigners, pretty much on a native level from education, media, and exposure. There is no such thing as a Spaniard who only speaks Basque, Catalan, or whatever, unless they're 90 plus years old from some small village, and even then they would still know the basics of Castilian Spanish. I know I'm going to get some comments about this. Okay, so here's the conflict. People from Catalonia are often very nationalistic and will sometimes refuse to speak Castilian. I was in Valencia, and some chick said, speak properly speak Valencian, a dialect of Catalan, when I asked her for directions in Castilian Spanish. My girlfriend invited me over to her parents' house in Barcelona. They talked amongst themselves for a bit in Catalan. I understood like maybe half or two-thirds of it. They greet me in Catalan, and I say in Castilian I don't speak Catalan, I'm from Galicia. They say something in Catalan to each other which I think was negative. We eat dinner, her sisters and their husbands are there, and are discussing things in Castilian, and they would often say things to each other in Catalan which I thought was rude but I let it go. They kept switching to Catalan during our conversation, and I politely reminded them like five times I don't speak Catalan. I go outside to take a breath of fresh air girlfriend joins me, and I ask her what the heck is her family's problem, why do they keep excluding me from the conversation, and she says they hate speaking Castilian. I told her that's BS. I heard her dad speak in Castilian to someone in Peru during his Zoom meeting. He took a 30-minute Zoom call while I was there, and the mom was preparing food, and not once did he switch to Catalan. We join back and they start asking me my opinion about things, I respond, I ask them questions and they just respond back in Catalan, and respond to each other's responses to that in Catalan, and I just had enough and said, I'm leaving now, the food was good but I just can't stand the rudeness, I told you so many times I do not speak Catalan. I don't feel welcome so I'm going, goodbye, and the father says, how rude, we prepared such a good meal for you, and you are leaving it unfinished, we spent hours on this. They made an entire goose and like five side dishes. I said, I told you I don't speak Catalan, why should I be here when you can't even respect me enough to speak in a common language? I never spoke to you in Galician, Portuguese English or Romanian, screw you jerks, I grabbed my stuff and left. Fifteen missed calls from girlfriend last night, stayed at friend's parents home nearby, haven't talked in a day, I don't know what to do now. Our next post is by Deleted. Am I the jerk for cancelling our apartment signing after I found out that my boyfriend bought an expensive car? My boyfriend 31M and I 28F have been together for just over two years. We have been living with roommates and been looking to move in for a while. It's expensive and I have a dog so it's been difficult finding a landlord that would be okay with a dog. My friend has been moving out and she has a dog too and is willing to sublet for us. The landlord said they are okay with signing us if we want to stay after the eight-month sublet. It's a fairly good price near work, so I'm happy with it. We went through the credit check and we are about to sign it but recently I discovered that my boyfriend bought another car. He already has a daily driver but wants a weekend car, which I personally find ridiculous why anyone needs two cars. He has a Honda Accord that is fine and he has never complained about problems with it. But he recently said he bought another car. He isn't the best with money, he really likes to spend till the last dollar, and doesn't have any savings. I've had to bail him out twice on rent, we both pay around $1,100 plus utilities, and he makes around 70 k a year, so he should have savings but he doesn't. He paid me back but it was months later than we agreed on. So I wasn't really happy that he did that, but I didn't realize he bought such an expensive car, he didn't show it to me until Saturday when he picked me up in a Corvette. I don't know what model it is but I asked him how much it was, and he said it wasn't my business, and I was pissed off he bought a clearly expensive car. He admitted later because I refused to let it go, it was 42k, and he had traded in the Honda. Even then his payments are almost $800 a month. I was so mad he did that especially because he asked me to cover part of his share of the apartment security deposit a week before he bought the car. I called my friend and apologized and told her I can't sign the lease, and she said she was okay with it. 
I hadn't paid the deposit yet thankfully, and my roommate is okay with me staying so I'm good. But my boyfriend lease is ending, and the landlord wants him out so he is mad at me cancelling us moving in together, because now he still needs to move and will probably be paying more than if we moved in together. He yelled at me for butting in on his business saying it's not my business what he buys. I think that's fair but he also doesn't have any money, and bought an expensive car so if anything goes wrong I have to pay his share of rent. Our next post is by Spicy Regrets Away. Am I the jerk for eating the food my father-in-law served me and ruining my boyfriend and I's holiday? Background info. I am 41, am a white American, and my boyfriend M38 is Moroccan and half black. His parents took a dislike to me the moment we met. We've been together for two years and he lives in America. The incident in question took place a few days ago. This is only my second time meeting his parents. His mother has been relatively quiet but it's obvious she feels the same as his father who is on an all-out warpath. They think that I'm a typical, useless American party boy, and not good enough for their son, who is an all-around goody-two-shoes. They are wealthy government employees who think that they're contributing a lot to the world. Unlike me. Now, it is important to note that I am also wealthy, self-made, and high-ranking in my career. So I am not attempting to get on any gravy train. My boyfriend and I are staying at their home in Morocco. The four of us sat down for dinner, cooked by their private chef. Everybody got a bowl of some Moroccan food that smelled really good. I noticed that mine looked paler than the others and didn't have as much of a smell. I didn't comment at first, but then his father outright said, as if he was doing me a favor, that he told the chef to put a portion for me aside before she added any of the seasoning, because he thought that my palate wouldn't handle the spice well. I have no issues with spicy food. I could tell that my boyfriend was already uncomfortable, and he told his father that I could eat what they're eating. I managed to keep my cool despite being really pissed off, and told him in no uncertain terms that I could handle spicy food. Next thing he took my food and went back to the kitchen. When he returned my food was a shade darker than everyone else's. I realized after the first bite that it wasn't just spicy, it was inedible. My boyfriend noticed my reaction and told his father off before telling me to stop eating it. But I didn't. I ate the damn food, and I have never in my life eaten anything like it. There must have been an entire bottle of hell in it, the pain. But I persevered, much to my boyfriend's protests, his father simply watched. I was sweating buckets, felt sick, almost had an asthma attack. Another reason that my boyfriend was angry with me, because I put myself at risk. But I ate the whole bowl. Then I left the table victorious, but dying a death. Fast forward, I've been in bed for three days, still feel messed up, may not survive. My boyfriend says I should have been the bigger person, and that there were no winners, that eating the whole bowl was as childish as his father was for serving it, and harmed only me. He's been taking care of me, but he's also blaming me. I don't think I was the asshole, even if the last three days of our vacation have gone down the drain. Edit. I'm not sure that I made it clear enough. The food was taken and he intentionally made it inedible. My boyfriend argued with his father afterwards. Anyway, I appreciate the comments and they cheered me up. I am an asshole and will apologize to my boyfriend. The comments about him picking a man like his father have really bothered me. I will take that advice to heart. Also, I love the concern for my asshole. It has a hard road ahead, but it will be okay. This has come up a few times, so I'll address it here. My boyfriend's parents know he is gay and they have accepted that. He is free to be himself in their home. We do not take our sexuality outside of the home while in Morocco. I'd like to show this post to him later, and I'm going to remove this edit before I do. Please, if you are going to comment, there is no need for racism. This is his family and his business. Update. I have apologized and I am forgiven. I punished myself enough for his liking. But he agrees that his father is an asshole and he could stand up for me more. I'm out now. Appreciate the responses and the laughs. Final update. Father-in-law has admitted that he didn't think in a million years I would actually eat the food. The point was that it was going to be inedible. But he won't apologize because I chose to do it. My asshole and I have reached a wary truce. Thank you all for the well wishes. Thank you for listening to the Reddit Chronicles. Follow for more content.